Welcome back everybody, I am Raytech and this is Escape from Skyblock, my mod pack. Alright, let's get back into doing what uh, we were doing beforehand and that is playing with forestry. Now, it was suggested in the comments from last episode that I really should be doing some immersive in industrial, blah, 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 blah. Yes, industrial hemp seeds from immersive engineering. That's what I was trying to spit out. And uh, in that case, that's exactly what I've done. So we're now getting the hemp seeds and the string from said crafting. Actually, the string is very, very handy because we're going to be needing it. So uh, it was also uh, hypothesized that the hemp seeds might be a little bit better when it came to oil. Um, but in saying that, the, uh, let me see, where is it? Oil, oil, oil. Uh, it was not plant oil, it was actually seed oil. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, seed oil. Alright, so the squeezer. So beetroot seeds, 10 millibuckets, 10 millibuckets. It seems as though everything, although walnut seeds, walnuts, they give you lots of seed oil. The chestnuts will actually give you lots of seed oil. And actually regular seeds. Now, why does, oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all 10 millibuckets. So we're not gonna get very far, very fast. So that's okay. We only need a small amount anyhow. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a barrel. Uh, do I actually have one? You no, know, I do not. Uh, we've got a couple barrels around the place, but I'd rather not use them. So let's make another one. So let's have a look at what slabs we have. Uh, I've got a stone slab. That'll do. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, and stone. That's hardened stone. I just want. Yes. Redstone block. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to cook some up. Just chuck that in there, chuck those in there, all good. Seed oil bucket, well we could use that as well. And we're going to need an exporter. Because since I've been playing the, well it looks like I had some stone in my system after all. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, ever since I've been playing Galactic Science 2, I've been real, it's like, getting into this mindset of just having my fluids stored digitally so um it's that sort of carried over into this series so uh, i want an exporter uh, it's not going to give me one of course i really should uh, look at getting these things auto crafted but um yeah it's not going to happen quite yet if ever <laughs> I make them as I need them. Alright, so the exporter itself. We're going to place. Alright, let's get the uh, almost broken pickaxe out again. Uh, that was actually a bit of a faux pas. So we're just going to place that back. Place the barrel down. Right, set our jetpack to hover mode, and let's go under here. Right, so our cable. Okay, and we'll just work our way over to here. Boom, done. Lovely. Right. Yeah, jetpack has been set to the correct location. Right, so now we're going to be exporting fluids of seed oil. Ta-da! Right, now we're going to 
do I really want to auto craft the the construction of the hives? Um, probably not. The wheat itself, we'll just make up a whole ton of these and we'll just uh, do it as we do. Right, so then we're just going to need the string. Actually, is it hemp? Hmm, what gives here? Display. What I selected? Ah, they had a few spaces in there, that's why. String. Right, uh, I think, yep. Definitely those. Throw them back in there. Whoops, I just put in the, uh, actually I don't know what I just put back into the system. But it was definitely something, that's for sure. So hives, artificial hives, boom, we need 13 of those, and I didn't really mean to make that, never mind. So do, actually, that's a very good question, do I actually have a hopper? Well, a hopper will do the trick. Uh, start... Just place a hopper on top, and we should be able to just throw those in there like such. I wonder if you can actually extract from the sides of these things. Uh, that's an insert. I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. So we got uh, scented artificial hives. So then we want to go to, I think, you go to uh, different biomes. So we've got forest hills there. Now I think further around my base there's a river, plains. So there's a, whoops. No, that, that, that is definitely plains. At least I hope so. Oh, I've actually turned, turned my jetpack off. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it's definitely planes. Do I have any other biomes in on the platform? And I don't think river actually counts as a biome. But having planes and forest is not bad. Uh, yeah, Forest Hills. Yeah, we'll just place that there. Now, I don't really know how effective this is going to be when it comes to conversion to a uh, regular hive, but uh, what we can do, we'll just... Uh, maybe we'll place one in the river? Oh, that's planes again. Never mind. Hello, cat. How are you? This is Mary. This is our our smallest kitten. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Hello. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> and she's just quite happily attached to my shoulder. Hey. Yeah, say hello to the microphone. Okay. Extract claws, thank you. Extract claws. Okay, down again. Then he's got to play the Minecrafts. Alright. So, whoa, that really, really hurt. She needs her claws cut. Um, but we can go to the moon and we can get some other uh, beehives. Um, the only problem is probably... <laughs> Because there'll be like wintry or like uh, these, the snow version actually. Um, 
I wonder, Alvarez, how hard would it be to make an Alvary right now with the sort of resources that we have? Uh, okay, getting bees, bee houses, apiaries. Oh no, the apiaries we're going to need. We need to make royal jelly, I think. Alvarez. Yeah, to make the impregnated cast castings, that's just seed oil. But the scented paneling, we need royal jelly, which you get from Imperial Bees. Now, I do have... Oh, I don't know how JEI actually works. I do have uh, Gendistry, but I don't know much about it. So I may have to lean on you good folks to... Uh, let me know about that. Actually, we we can actually go to the go to the moon and go grab some wintry. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, let's go uh, grab some grab some hive grab some bees. So we need to make a scoop. Mm -hmm. Don't have one, obviously. Scoops. Ooh, a gendistry scoop. How do I make one of these? Power module. Wow. Okay, first thing we need a scoop, right? Okay, so it's a scoop, a diamond, and a power module. Uh, okay, bronze gears. I've got the bronze. Uh, basic gear. I don't have any sticks. <laughs> uh, wood. No, not a lot, hell of a lot either. Still have to re go ahead and make a tree farm. Uh, sapling. Yes, please. Ray is definitely slacking. He needs a start stash of wood. But he's just so lazy. Well, maybe once I start getting to breeding trees, I'll start doing something. Right. Okay, so Dark Axe. Chop that. Chop that. And chop that. Turn that into there. Do, do, do. Sticks. Ta da! Do, 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 do. Yay! Yay for basic gears. Alright. So I need four of these bronze gears. One, two, three, and four. Yep. Cool. And. Can I just move? Oh, uh, the only thing I'm missing are pistons. So I want to craft two of those. I'm missing cobblestone and wood. Wouldn't you know it? Well, cobblestone's the easy part. I can just go to my lava gen and just steal some cobblestone from there. Right. I don't know what it, what the hell it is I just put into the system, but uh, yeah, it probably wasn't the thing I was supposed to. I'm inadvertently sorting my uh, inventory just by misclicks. Right. Yeah, just as well I got. A whole heap of uh, bone meal I can just use. So yeah, gendistry. I don't know much about it. 
honestly. So I am definitely going to need some good guides. Um, do, do, do. Wood. Oh, wood, 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 wood. All right. Pistons. Two. Fantastic. Done. Gimme. Piston and piston. One power module. My first gender item. And my second one, the Scoop Autorator MX200 Turbo. Now, let's charge this baby up. Boom. Whoa. My power reserves are really taking a hammering. Maybe I should look at uh, some more power. But for the meantime, let's just check how much... Yeah, we've got plenty of Naquita fuel. We're fine. Get my handy-dandy notebook. Um... Aha! Someone had uh, moved, <laughs> well basically taken off the uh, sticky note, off the top of the notepad. I'm going, <gasps> where is it? But I found it. It's all good. We're all good. Yes. Uh, Q07, QZ. Hit the button. Now, before we go, let's go back to the power bank and actually get get our, our scoop because I forgot to pick it up. Oh no, it, it's already there. Charges, 500. Stargates are cool, what can I say? And... Hui! <laughs> Right, we're here on the moon. We have all these hives here on the moon. Lots of hives on the moon and whoa. Man, I should invest. Ouch. You bastards. Um, okay, so we can have to manage this actually. Did I actually bring some food? Yes, I did. Good. Because I need to get some combs to make, a, say, a backpack or something like that. Oh, ooh, ooh. actually, what would be a really good idea before I go wandering off around the around the moonscape is put a waypoint because that would be bad, Ray. Uh, waypoint new. Um, Stargate. Save. Yep. Cool. Now we can just go for a wander on the moon. Yay, we've got some wintry combs. Yay! Or frozen combs. We just got to watch our health. Because the stinging, well, I don't know. Ouch, 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 ouch. The bees, they hurt. All right, we've got some drones, which is fantastic. Uh, we're getting some pristine stock of uh, princesses. So I think we're going to be doing some crossbreeding to breed out the requirement of a cold in cold uh, a cold climate hmm or we go do a little bit of investigation on the platform and see if there's anywhere uh, like a tiger biome nearby we can potentially use i 
I, uh, I'm just curious. What's around the moon? Oh, wow. Uh, actually, uh, before we leave here, definitely have to check in on... What's that over there? We have to check in on the digital miner. We might have to move it. Because it may have finished, but... I don't think there's actually anything of note on the moon. It's just all moonscape. Except all the uh, beehives. There's no real dungeons or anything else like that. I don't think. It's just barren moonscape. Yeah. All right. I wonder if the digital miner, you can actually get it to show its mining area. Oh, no. It's got still got heaps to mine. I mean, <laughs> it's... We're going to be good. So let's pop back to the base. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you, like, get it far enough away from the Stargate before it actually closes, before it scares me a second time. Right, so we've got uh, bees here. Um, I don't think any of our artificial hives. Actually, I better do a touch, a bit of research on the artificial hive. Artificial hive. Ex nihilo. Um, <laughs> uh, it will turn into a scented artificial hive. Place it in a hive in the world. It eventually turn into a beehive, or it will revert back to an artificial hive. Bees are particular about where they live. Scented hive must meet the certain conditions to attract a bee. Um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, the uh, the water, the water bee in the river, uh, is that, are we actually underneath, what's the, what's the, what's the level for our water in Minecraft? I don't know. Um... Oh, we could actually look at n uh, nether bees as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. And yeah, we can uh, could do some nether nether bees too. But they will eventually turn into the hives. How are we on the old hydrogen? Yeah, a bit low. I made this uh, gas charge pad. You just basically hop on it and it charges all the uh, the, um, the the uh, the tanks in your inventories. Whoa. Okay, so that's planes. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, yeah, that was kind of strange. Did I did I go too far up or too? Uh, that was weird. Yeah, just use use the uh, the sky as reference. I was just not pushing the space bar enough. So this is planes pretty much all the way out this way. Still planes, still planes, still planes. Still pushing planes. Oh no, it changes to forest. Right, let's move out this way. Yeah, we've got planes and forest. 
Actually, that death uh, gives us a really good point on how to get back. Because that was actually very close to the platform. So we've got a lot of planes around here. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that we may actually have a cold biome around the place. Well, we've got a beach. Okay. Extreme Hills. Oh, that's actually a good, that's a good one. Uh, Extreme Hills. What will, what will that give us? Um, embittered? No, that's something else. It's kind of nice, actually kind of cool seeing the platform from far away. So we've got Extreme Hills that are like right out the back. <laughs> uh, yep. Desert my lasers. Coming up for a smooth landing. Yay! So, what was Extreme Hills? Um, the Attune Bee. Mountain. Extreme Hills, Icy Mountains, etc. Ah, hang on. Extreme Hills. I. I think that actually changes climate as it goes up. Pretty sure. I'll have to check in on that. Yes. So we may be able to get some hives uh, like happening with our, our wintry bees, but we'd have to go out to the uh, extreme hills area and go higher. I think. Yep, so kind of, kind of made some progress, kind of really didn't, but uh, yeah, again, uh, if folks can probably give me a, some good pointers about what I should be doing with the uh, forestry stuff, because I'm a complete noob at this sort of thing, please, comment section is the best place for it. What, what do you think I should be making next? Is it what sort of machinery? I, I got a fairly certain idea that I'm on the right track. I'm trying to get uh, bees like happening, like getting bees started. Um, I just have to wait for these artificial hives to work or find some way in getting a biome that the uh, that that my the wintry bees that I can collect we can work with. All right, folks, if you like the episode and like the series thus far, do go ahead and click that like button. And, of course, if you're interested in anything else I've done in the past, check out some of the playlists over to the right-hand side. I've been Raytag. I'll see you next time.